Rolls-Royce continues testing the first prototype of the F-130 engine, developed to replace the TF-33 engines on the US Air Force's Boeing B-52 Stratofortress strategic bombers, according to a press release from the company. Various commercial engines modified for military use fiercely competed with the F-130 engine during the B-52 re-engineering development. Both Pratt & Whitney's PW-1000G, which boasts a high bypass ratio for enhanced fuel efficiency, and GE Aviation's CF-34, which is a proven technology from regional aircraft, were strong contenders for the position. The decision ultimately selected Rolls-Royce's F-130 as the most suitable engine for the vehicle. Numerous factors likely influenced this decision, such as its proven performance in other military aircraft, its seamless integration with the pre-existing B-52 infrastructure, and its potential for long-term support. Testing of the new twin-engine F-130 began on August 7 at the updated ground test stand, Test Cell 114, in Indianapolis, Indiana. Rolls-Royce states that the new engine is based on the BR-725 power plant, which is used in Gulfstream G650 business jets. During the testing phase, significant data on the performance of the new power unit with a twin-engine nacelle has already been gathered, confirming the characteristics planned during the development of the F-130 engine. This data will form the basis for a critical design review ahead of flight tests scheduled for late fall 2024. In September 2021, the US Air Force signed a contract with Rolls-Royce to develop a new twin-engine system for the B-52 modernization, aiming to extend the service life of the bomber fleet by another 30 years. The contract, worth $2.604 billion, includes the delivery of 648 engines, associated equipment, and technical documentation. Rolls-Royce has invested around $1 billion in its Indiana plant to expand production capabilities for the F-130 engines. For those unfamiliar with the developments, the US Air Force previously announced a competition to develop new engines for re-engining the B-52 Stratofortress, selecting Rolls-Royce's F-130 in 2021. The military explained that the outdated TF-33 engines are expensive to maintain and consume large amounts of fuel. It's worth noting that Boeing delivered the B-52 strategic bombers to the US Air Force up until 1962. Currently, the US Air Force has 76 of these aircraft in service, with the youngest bomber being over 58 years old. Rolls-Royce assures that the new F-130 engines will improve fuel efficiency, reducing the need for aerial refueling, and significantly lowering operational costs for the B-52 fleet. Now, do you think Pratt & Whitney's engine was better for continuity? Let us know in the comments. We discuss such interesting topics every day. Please like, share, and subscribe for more such stories in the future.